Stock Targets. This is Sean Kelly at StockTargets.com. Hello everyone. Today is Shale Oil Day. We have received a lot of questions regarding shale oil. Today we're going to tell you that shale oil has low potential. It will not help oil prices. Oil prices will be going up anyway. The oil price is around $103 today on the West Texas Intermediate and about $108 on the North Sea Brent. Can shale oil contribute to more oil production and therefore send the price lower? We say no, it can't. What is uh, shale oil anyway? Shale oil is an unfinished form of oil which is cemented in the rock in a primitive form called kerogen. And here are some additional elements for you. The summary of what we're going to be talking about today is the following. First of all, there's not a lot of extractable shale oil at an economical price. Then, shale oil is expensive to extract, shale oil is difficult to extract, shale oil is in operation mainly in the USA and China only, and other countries have low potential or are not interested to produce. A lot of investment is needed for shale oil. The production declines are sharp. The life of the investment is short. The return of the investment is low. The investment payback is uncertain. Some other characteristics of uh, shale oil production are the following. Let's have a look at shale oil reserves by comparison to conventional oil. Conventional oil extracted in red, conventional oil remaining in the ground in yellow, tar sands in light blue, shale oil in dark blue. Shale oil is found mainly in North America and a little bit in China. The other countries which have shale oil have quite small reserves by comparison and can be considered as almost negligible. Here are the reserves for shale. Top right, Russia, 75 billion barrels. United States, 58. China, 32. Argentina, 27. Libya, 26. And the others, 77 for a total of 295 billion barrels. It is to be noticed that the only two countries producing shale oil right now are the United States and China, to a certain extent, the two slices in green. The two slices in red and dark red are the shale oil reserves of Libya and Russia. These two countries right now are not at all interested in exploiting shale oil they are producing enough of liquid conventional oil. And now what is the major difference between shale oil and conventional oil? Well, very simply, a conventional oil rig produces close to 85,000 barrels per day in average if you look at all the big oil producing countries. On this table you can have a clear look at what we're saying the number of rigs in the second column, the production in the first column, and therefore the production per rig per day in the third column. So just by making an arithmetic average, we discover that the average production per rig per day for all these countries is 85,000 barrels. And here is the big difference. A shale oil rig produces close to 1,100 barrels per day in average, not 85,000 barrels. Why such a low production and why is it so difficult to extract shale oil? Well, here's the reason. First of all, you have to drill vertically down to approximately 7,000 feet. Then drill horizontally over a distance of about 2,500 feet. And thereby aim for a layer of shale which is only 200 feet in thickness. Once you've done that, you will now have to start fracking. The fracking consists of a series of explosions which you are carrying out underground in order to fracture the rock and heat it up in order to pump out whatever can be extracted from this cemented original form of oil which is kerogen. Here you have a table showing the actual production per rig. In the Bakken, 1,000 rigs and more 
for production of a little bit over a million barrels per day. Eagle Ford, approximately the same kind of metrics for an average production per rig of 987 barrels per day. As you can see, this production is much, much lower than what you get from conventional oil rigs. And also, you need a very large number of rigs in order to reach any kind of respectable production. Some other characteristics of shale oil production are the following. The bulk of production happens in the first year. After that, you see sharp drops already. The drop in production reaches an average 70% in year 2, and the life expectancy of a rig is approximately 3 years. After that, you still can have some production, but usually the whole equipment is pulled out of the ground, the place is cleaned up, and the whole crew moves to a different drilling spot. The rate of recovery is only 5-6%. to 6%. Indeed, fracking is not the most efficient extraction methodology available, and getting this kerogen out of the ground is something quite difficult. The break-even cost for pulling shale oil out of the ground is $68, the minimum we could find. We have also found some studies where the production cost can go up to $90 per barrel. So in summary, if the market price of oil should drop somewhere to lower levels, you're going to see an immediate drop in production in the field of shale oil. Indeed, nobody is willing to work at a loss. Indeed, a shale oil rig produces close to 80 times less oil than a conventional oil rig in average. And the shale oil production will remain low by comparison in spite of apparent high reserves and at a much higher cost than conventional oil. In the USA only, it seems that production of shale oil could invalidate the oil peak of 1971. Nevertheless, we are still quite far from it. We are not denying a revival in oil production in Texas and the Bakken and in the USA in general. But we do not believe that this increased production has any substantial effect on prices, in other words, to bring them down. The recent three-year history in shale oil production demonstrates this. World demand for oil is still very strong, and prices are rising. We are today, late February 2014, at $105 on the WTI, and uh, even higher than $110 a barrel on the Brent. And now some forecasts from the IEA, the International Energy Agency. The IEA, the International Energy Agency, the PR company of the oil industry, has always had low forecasts for shale oil. The gray portion on the chart is the portion of shale oil worldwide. And as you can see, it's a very small portion of the entire graph of world oil production. So don't be fooled by people telling you that we are soon going to be awash of oil thanks to shale oil. Shale oil will always remain a marginal quantity of oil by comparison to conventional oil. This is Sean Kelly at StockTargets.com Stock Targets